All right. Well, let me switch the uh, the title, and I'm going to show you a very a very very different genre of game, guys. But I also really adore this game lately. Let me show you something really cool. So this is. Okay, Beyond Contact was great. Now Mechabellum. Um, this is a game that what is his name? It's called Elf in it. I can never remember his full name. It's just like the Elf Man on Discord. But this is the game that that chatter told us about last weekend. I was like, oh, looks pretty cool. I'll check it out. Oh, guys, you have no idea. It's so cool. Um, this is like a day of like great games for me to show off to you. I've been addicted to this game as well. So let me pull it up. Okay, so um, it has its own music, but I'll probably put my own on. Um, though I won't do it for the first round because I don't want to put on any music that might get copyright struck too close to the sponsored content because then it makes it hard for the, the publishers to use it. So I want to probably just put on the game's basic music for the moment. So this game is called Mechabellum and uh, I want to show you at least an hour of it, and knowing how much I like this game, I'll probably get addicted and play a little bit more than that, but I don't want to go too late because, you know, I want to go see my baby and uh, stuff. So, uh, how do we explain this game? This is an auto-battler, but it's not like TFT, it's not like, um, it's not like Dota Auto Chess and stuff like that. Um, it's basically... Like I said, this, this is a day for me of telling you about favorite games. This This is basically like... The auto battler I've always wanted to play since I realized I kind of like playing auto battles like TFT. Because um, I, I I think auto battles are cozy. I like them. They're fun to play. I like to kind of like watch things happen and iterate on your strategy. Um, but you know TFT like I played a bunch of it in the first season, but it's not like my perfect game in that sense, and not my perfect auto battler. Um, not to hype this game too much before I just show you how the game works, but this game is like my perfect auto battler. So um, I just want to show you how show you how it works and get into it. Um, but I, but I guess first, uh, okay, you know, you know what we'll do? We'll go to the training grounds and I'll show you some of the ways it works so that you understand as we get into it. Um, I could explain it as I go, but I'll be busy strategizing, so it's probably good to have a quick run on this game before we get into it. So, the way this game works is at the start of a round, this is a testing grounds, this is just like testing out units and stuff, you've got like a lot of dev tools and stuff to do that with. So, um, it won't... Uh, you won't have everything that's in a normal round, you'll see. But the basic idea is that every round, um, you place units up to a maximum of two. So in this case, you know, let's say we unlock these units and then we place two fangs, right? Which are, there, there's all a bunch of different units. These are like light, um, uh, light infantry bots, basically. They're basically infantrymen. Uh, you place them. I'll switch sides because in testing grounds you get to play as both. It's a really great testing grounds they provide with this game. Um, and, you know, I'm like a marksman, and they'll get fucking bodied by these guys. Um, commanders place their units, buy upgrades, do everything else, then they finish their deployment, the auto battle starts, uh, and you watch. Uh, at this point, everything's out of your hands. Um, there's lots of different units, let me turn the game down a bit. Ah! There's lots and lots of different units. Um, that it's it's a surprisingly deep game. Everything died already. Um, so like you know, if in this case, you know these guys are snipers who have a low rate of fire but high damage. So a swarm unit that has a bunch of small bodies beats them. But then if I go over to here, and let's say I'm this guy, I go okay. Now I'm gonna buy um, Arc Light, which is a crowd control bot, which does AOE damage, right? And I'm like, oh, he's probably gonna buy something to deal with my crowd control guys. So I'm gonna buy. Um, you know, sledgehammers. I don't have to overthink it here, because I'm just literally showing you the mechanics. But if I, like, you know, sledgehammers, and I get two of them, right? The Now, a big thing that makes this game good, um, and you're going to see how this game has more depth as we get into it, because I'm not going to explain everything right from the start. I'm just doing a crash course. But a big thing that makes this game's strategies, like, really interesting is you can only move units to turn you by them. So I can move these tanks around because I just bought them. But now, these fangs are stuck here now. Can't move them anymore. Now, there's ways around that. Um, there's, like, upgrades you can get and stuff like that. Um, where is it? Allows you some mobile beacons. Yeah, you have to, like, roll the upgrade up here, I think, and stuff. And there's, like... There, there's ways that you can move units 
Um, certain units have certain upgrades and stuff like that. But in general, the rule is, once it's there, it's stuck there. That's generally how 99% of unit placements go. And so it makes the game very strategic because it becomes like, okay, you were winning here before, but I know your units are still going to be there, so I'm going to play something to counter that now. It's not like TFT, where like, you know, you're up against the, the, the enemy who has assassins, so you just like stick all of your, your snipers in a... Uh, or you like you, you stick like a tank in the back of your line so the assassins jump the back. It's not like constantly like rearranging your formation hectically. Um... You know, which is, which is both, for me, it's just too hectic all the time in TFT as well. Uh, but also, like, just, like, there's actual strategy to it. Once you play something there, it's there. Um, so I didn't even look which side won there, but I'm sure it was me again. So then, you know, okay, we got the tanks here. So what do you do about these tanks? Um, switch sides. Let's be this guy again. So he's got the tanks. He, me. He's got the tanks taking out the arc lights. So I need something to deal with the tanks and also deal with the fangs. Um, I also need some frontline because this shit's dying too quick. So I could get crawlers, but they'll die to the tanks. I need like a swarm... I could get my own tank. I could get steel balls. Yeah, so what I do is I go steel balls, because steel balls trade well against the tanks. They're a laser unit. I should explain the different weapon types. Um, 16 meters a second. So we'll put you here. What's your range? Your range is there. So because you guys are faster, we want to set up so you arrive about the same time. Okay. So, like, let's say I'm gonna buy steel balls, and meanwhile over here, well, I already... You, usually you can't see what they're doing, it's a bit of a guess. But let's say I go, okay, I'm just gonna press my advantage because I'm already winning, and I'm gonna buy... Uh, I don't know, fucking know, some... Marksman? Marksman, funnily enough, would actually count these really well. But let's say I don't, let's just prove the point, right? Um, let's say I just get... Uh, rhinos? Yeah. That's, a, that's perfectly counted by laser. Let's say I happen to go, oh, I'm going to buy these these single high health AoE bots, right? And I go in now. There's different weapon types in um, the projectiles here. The tanks have high explosive, which is AoE. Same as this high explosive. These are lasers. They start small, but they build up exponentially. Watch the damage. The lasers start at like one damage, but as they build up, they do more and more. So they're for killing high HP units, you see? But, they're, but then they're worse against low units. So in this case, my, my steel balls, they annihilate the rhinos because they're high health. They provide a bit of tanking for the arc lights to take out some of the fangs. And we did win on this side, but not on this side. Um, the marksman's going to be able to win against that tank. But unfortunately over here, there's just enough fangs left um, to push through. Now here's another thing we're going to get to see here as well, I think, unless the marksman gets too close. There's the energy spikes. When you kill these, a paralysis effect happens. This is really important. And when a paralysis effect happens, the units paralyzed do very little damage. Their damage gets completely lowered down, and they take way more damage as well. Um, and they move slower, and it lasts for ages, like 20 seconds. So if you can hit these, these, these power spike things, the research center command center, you get this incredibly powerful buff that just turns battles completely. So you have to defend these things, or else you're going to get in a lot of trouble. Uh, another mechanic to talk about before we start a real match, because uh, there's quite a few interesting mechanics, and they're quite interested in here, is flanking. The way flanking works, let's buy some crawlers. When you buy units, so when you, whenever you can move a unit, what side am I on? You can go ahead and place a unit. Eh? I'm on the wrong side. You can place a unit in a flank position here, right? Um, how do I rotate? Is it middle mouse? Yeah, middle mouse. Now, the way it works with these flanking units... Um, is there's no special bonus to being in the flank, it's just, you know, obviously, unless you flank. It might fuck up your enemy strategy if they're all built for your front line, as in the first round you can't flank. So the first round everybody's always in the front line. Uh, it might fuck up your enemy strategy, like, oh, you know, we just found out how cool it is to kill these things, bring the crawlers in from the side. But the big thing about this is that these units, on the first time you place them there, will take some time to come in. Um, so if you're smart, you're going to have something, you always want to have something ready to counter that, right? So let's say I've got my... Arc lights, right? Which are crowd control bots. Even before these flank units are here, because I don't know they're here yet, but even before they're here in a real match, I'd want to have something on my left and right. Um, and the reason that matters is because, yeah. Especially on the first time you put them in, you've got the element of surprise, the, the, the enemy doesn't know they're here, but it takes about 10 seconds for them to warp in on the flank, unlike being in the middle. And then they start going. Now, in all subsequent... Um, and I can just show you here. In all subsequent matches, that's not the case. So now they just go right away. If I click start again, you'll see. 
But now the now the enemy knows they're there, so they can counter them. So it's kind of a trade-off for the surprise attack value of them. Anyway, that's like the most of it. Um, well, hang on. So just a quick rundown as well. You've got the upgrade system as well. Oh, and the damage you take. Damage is dealt to each other based on how many units are left standing. Each unit left alive does amount of damage to the main health of the enemy. Taking on this main health is how you win. Um, each unit has upgrades you can buy down here. As you buy an upgrade on the unit, other, other upgrades get exponentially more expensive. Well, they just get like an extra cost added to them. Um, you can upgrade units, they get XP for kills, and you can spend money to upgrade them. When you upgrade them, their health and their attack power doubles. Uh, which can be quite a lot on quite big units. Um, there's big giant units, but we'll get into that. Um, you can buy shield generators for 100. These are like consumables. These recharge to their full shield HP at the start of a round, unless they're taken down. If they're taken down, they go away. Same with these things. There's these things called missile, sentry missiles. They're $50. $50. And they're just a single-use consumable missile fires off and blows a bunch of units and then they're gone. Those are powerful, but they're they're only for one round. And the game isn't about winning run one round, it's about taking your opponent's health down over the match. Um You have to unlock units to buy them. That's like the most of it. I think you guys will be able to figure out the rest as we go. There's like a bunch of upgrades down here in the command centers as well. You can buy like extra attack, extra HP. But That's about what we'll do. I think we'll do with actual match now. Another thing to know, though, one more thing to note is that the upgrades that units have, by the way, I'm not going to show you them all right now, but just know uh, you can pick from different ones. You have four slots down here, and you can pick a different preset of them, basically. So everyone has access to the same shit, um, but it's up to you what you bring your units in looking like, you know, what you can buy during the match. These are your options to buy during the match, but they're quite expensive. Let's do a match. I only see one person matchmaking right now, but we'll... Hopefully get get I, I always get one pretty quick when I usually play this game. No, I also applied for a streamer badge. Oh yeah, there it is. I got a little streamer badge. So that guy dodged me because his combat power is way better than me. So he's way more experienced at the game. This down here is you get it for beating people. So this person has ten thousand more experience than me, <laughs> which means they played a lot more than me. But that's alright, we're not scared. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like I've oversold this game almost, but I love it. I love this game. I've only played it for a few days, but I love it so far. So here's something. At the start of a, a match, you get to pick one of these. Uh, it's your starting units you'll have and a special perk you'll have. I'm going to have start of a free level 3 marksman, I think. They, though my HP is low, I probably shouldn't have picked him because his HP is so low. Well, if I lose, I'm going to lose hard. I'm starting with Arc Lights and the Storm Callers here. Uh, this is the crowd control bot, and these are slow, fragile artillery missile boats. They have picked Cost Control Specialists. So they got 100 additional supplies per round, but decreases the attack of all units by 50% and HP by 50%. Uh, they have, which matters less than you think with breakpoints. They have Marksmen and Mustangs to start with. This is a... A uh, numerous, like, bunch of light autocannon hovercraft tanks, basically. So I want to deal with the marksman by having something, like, numerous that the marksman will be inefficient at dealing with. Have you got explosive upgrade? No. And I want to deal with the mustangs by just having, like, battle tanks, I think. But the battle tanks will be bad. They'll get killed by the mustangs of the marksmans. Um, I don't have any horde unit, so I need to get a horde unit first. I think crawlers do okay against mustangs. Not great, but okay. So I'm probably going to buy, I think Crawlers is like the classic counter here. Let's lay some shit out. So, like like I said, it's important to make sure that your flanks are defended, because you just basically lose if the shit happens. Um, so it's very important to make sure you defend your flanks well. I need some better tanking here. Let's put you there and you there. Uh, Marksman here. I re- uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I put the arc lights here covering my flanks. Have the crawlers back a bit. So that they come in a bit later on. Like this. You have a movement speed of 7, you have 6, so you'll get in front. That's fine. Okay. And this should be okay. So now we're going to see what he did. They did, sorry. 3 marks went out front. Mustangs on the side. Uh, did he just buy more Mustangs? He, he bought an upgrade for the Mustangs. He bought range enhancement. 
Now, as long as my crawlers aggro the snipers, which they have, it lets me see... Like, they're wasting their time shooting single bugs. My artillery gets it on the Mustangs. White. Easy. Now, I don't want to invest any more in my Stormcallers, because the Mustangs have an upgrade they can get where they can take out missiles. And that's the... Oh, why do they start more health? Because that's the choice of their commander. The different commanders have different health choices. Uh, now, every round, you pick one of these as well. We both get the same choices, so whatever I'm picking from, they're picking from too. Obtain a portable shield. Uh, let's go for portable shield. So... Have they, they've got the anti-missile thing, so I'm not going to invest anything in these because they're probably just going to buy the anti-missile upgrade. Instead, I want to counter the Mustangs because he's likely to invest a lot on those Mustangs. I think with the Crawlers already working well to screen from the Snipers, the Sledgehammer tank is good here. And maybe just another unit of Crawlers to keep distracting the Marksmen. Because he's put them really far out. They, sorry. They put them really far out. So buy a Sledgehammer tank... And buy another set of crawlers. They're probably going to counter my crawlers if I buy too many of them, but for now it's fine. I just want to time... These things have double the speed of everything else, so I just want to move them back a bit so that they show up through the lines right as the marksman would be targeting them. To maximize their uptime. Whoops. So we'll put them, like, right there. And the tanks, meanwhile... Go a little bit faster than the artillery, but we can just put them here to screen it. Mm. Put them there, because I do not want them to get onto my thingies. Alright, that's my money for this turn. End deployment, see what they did. Nothing on my flanks. They've got their own crawlers to counter, which is not a bad counter. But I've got arc lights, though, so actually... This won't be as easy for me. I haven't bought the anti-missile thing yet, but... So their crawlers are going to meet my crawlers. I melt them with the arc lights and the storm crawlers. And I'm going to wipe them again. Nice. Their crawlers to just block off my crawlers wasn't a bad idea, except I have crowd control in the AoE arc lights already. So the crawlers meet, they they um, they um sandbag each other, and then my crowd control just wipes them. Whereas the enemy still doesn't have any crowd control, really. Yeah, you can see they took the shield thing I took too, but they haven't put it on anyone yet. So this is going pretty good. Um, What next? Knock on wood. But this is going pretty good so far. Uh, they're having a lot of trouble with crawlers, so I can buy this thing that's a cool ability every three rounds. Crawlers continue to emotion in the designated area. I almost want to I almost want to throw more crawlers at this person so that they go too hard into countering crawlers. And then I can just come back around and build some giant units that are the, totally the opposite. Um, let's do it. Let's buy barrier for that for later. So barrier is something to put on giant units for later. But yeah, I almost kind of just want like spam more crawlers here. To make this person go like, oh my god, I gotta get like a crowd control counter. And then, once they've committed to that a bit harder, because they're already, like, a bit all over the place, then I can maybe get some fortresses. I don't know if this is the smartest idea, but I'm going to do it. I don't want to buy another tank, too, I think. Let's buy some tanks on the other side as well. And I probably want to watch my flanks a bit more. I probably even want to, like, put these tanks over here. Uh, I want to screen these crawlers, though, because they're, they're going to attack the nearest unit. I don't want them to go onto the storm crawlers, so I'm going to put them, you there. Put another set of crawlers and just really make them feel like, God, this fucker's got so many crawlers. Really make them feel like, he, you know, make them feel like they need to counter those crawlers. Um, And then I can just save the rest of my money for this, and I'm doing pretty good. I could buy more defense against the Mustangs, probably. Uh, buy defense. And attack, fuck it. No flanks. So there we go. So that's the obvious kind of the crawlers. Now, whether I'm big-brained or not will be if this thing kills all the crawlers. But this is going to melt my crawler horde very easily. Yeah. Big flamethrower tank going to annihilate them. I don't know if I can get through this thing quick enough to not lose to the marksmen, but I think I've got enough here already still. So it's still decently effective against my medium units. We need to get rid of it quick. And now that now that there's no light units shielding me from the marksman, I'm in, I'm in trouble here. But the artillery just wiped them out. I think I'm going to win because the artillery is going to win the day. Yeah. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So almost punished there, but not quite. Now I want to pivot into big units, because if anything, they might see that and be like, Oh, I almost had it. I'll buy more Vulcans. 
Um, because they're right, the, the crawlers stopping their heavy snipers from killing all my units fast is what's winning me these battles. So now I want to go... I'm surprised they haven't got the anti-missile upgrade, honestly. But now I want to go for uh, the opposite. I want to go for giant units. Because they've got nothing to stop my giant units to go for the marksmen. And if I screen the crawlers well enough, it won't matter. Um, Parasitic ammo makes more crawlers. They have a lot of trouble dealing with crawlers, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to take at least one fortress here. I'm going to use... You can do a thing here where you... you Get 200 supplies now, but you lose 300 supplies next round. So you pay to get them earlier. I'm going to do that so I can buy this fortress robot. Put the barrier on it so that it has... Wait, which one? Generates a barrier, yeah. So it shields everyone. Just like he's under the Vulcan, they're under the Vulcan. Uh, who's making the most kills? Whoever's making the most kills, we're going to turn you into making crawlers, you. So put this parasitic owl on these storm crawlers. So they're making crawlers every time they kill something. And they're going to make a bunch of crawlers for me, hopefully. <coughs> and then I have 200 left for another unit. Um, <coughs> maybe more sledgehammers. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. <coughs> uh, yeah. Maybe more. Running out of time. Maybe just more sledgehammers, okay? Maybe more, more sledgehammers. I want to start getting some more shit on the flanks. In case they try to flank me, I deal with it. Look at me, that other shield. I mean, you have not yet. I probably should, but not yet. I probably should just put on some tanks. So I didn't really see what he's done there. He's just got um, an incendiary bomb upgrade that fires incendiary bombs at me that napalm my area. I counter that perfectly because I got the shield to stop it from going off. His shield goes down, my shield goes down. This thing has big artillery cannons that are good at single target damage. It should annihilate the Vulcan really nicely, I hope. Yep, fucking it up. I've still got crawlers alive. Beautiful. Their AoE artillery is less effective against my giant death robot. Perfect. Absolutely obliterated. So what is everybody going to do at this point? Um, this is like a death nail round. I should go all, all in on this round no matter what. I should do the, the extra money thing again. Because this is a go all in turn. Oh, I can just drop your shield immediately. That could be nice. They're probably going to do it to me and drop my shield too. So these are these things that come in every so often. Whoa, that's so big. So I can you can use this every four rounds, but if I plan to win in this round because their HP is so low, all that matters is winning this one round. So if I put this here, it's going to get rid of... You've got anti-missile now, right? Still haven't got anti-missile. I can put this here. It's going to do a bunch of damage to your shields. Cool, 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 cool. Um, More fortresses. The funny thing is, they can get an upgrade that does this shield thing. Um, I'm too busy commentating and not really seeing what's almost beating me here, too. But maybe just more fortresses. Like, they haven't gone... They've just gone harder and on crowd control against the crawlers like we wanted. So I think just more fortresses wins this with more barriers. Maybe. Or, are they all ground? No, the marksmen aren't. I was going to say I could just go air. But um, let's, let's buy you. Keep you in the same shield. Um, and I can buy armor enhancement so the Mustangs can barely hurt you in case they live. And then I can just buy... I mean, the Crawlers are doing pretty decently, honestly. Actually, not doing bad at all. I can even put... Hey, this is the turn to do it. I can even do a flank. Oh, better on this side. They're, they're further from this side. Okay, let's see how this goes. So immediately, the blast going. Oh, we got a melting point. So that's a, that's a that's a big unit killer. I'm fucked if that gets to do its, its work to me. So I do a bunch of damage to the shield. Shields down right away. I've got my flanking crawlers here. Those crawlers are gonna win me this game, I think, if I last long enough. I'm actually a bit worried because that laser is gonna charge up. Oh, but the laser is getting wasted on my crawlers before it gets to get to my big guys. Here come the crawlers in the back, and this is gonna be the death knell. And he's not gonna have any time to react to this next turn because this is the last time he's gonna be alive. This is the, this is the this is the game win. Paralysis goes off. Crawler's coming from behind now. Wasn't expecting the flank. Nothing to protect from it. Nothing at all. This is why I have my units protecting just in case you ever do it at some point in the match. Because a smart person will. Absolutely annihilated. You're done. And because I got big units to do tons of damage. There is no way you live. Over in five rounds. That was pretty quick. I love this game. It's super strategic. You can Vanguard deploy. That seems broken. It's a flank thing. Um, and there's drawbacks to it. But yes, you totally can. You gotta be ready for it. You can't deploy in their area. Only on the flanks. It is 
a super fun game. Um, when I first got this game, like, three or four days ago, I've probably played, like, 20 or 30 matches of it since, but when I first got this game, I lost eight matches in a row. I did not win a single time until suddenly I started winning, and I started winning. And a big thing that helped me is I went into the training grounds, and I just started testing unit matchups against each other and learned, okay, Steel Ball is good at countering Sledgehammer. Okay, uh, this unit is good at countering that unit. And once I was able to learn better what units very... It's, it's a game of cost-effectiveness, because you, you get very little money around, really. It builds up more of every round, but you're starting off with very low money numbers, and you're always going to be pressed for money. So this game, I think, is all about being as cost-effective as possible. It's not enough just to win. You want it to, 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 to dominate a match, you need to know how to use the least expensive unit to defeat their most expensive units. You want to trade a 100-cost unit to kill a 400-cost unit, or a 200-cost unit, right? That's your goal. And if you do that all over the battlefield enough, I mean, one, you're winning, obviously, but yeah, you're going to build up an advantage in a cost-effectiveness and supply, which is going to roll you over them eventually. Banny says, I, I say you pivot into Crawler fast to distract him from getting the Arty Interceptors. Yeah, yeah, I, I reckon you're right. Because they, they have this, it's so cool, they have this so cool upgrade where they can intercept the missiles, and the missiles were doing a lot of damage to them. They were, they, they're my top killers, uh, as you can see down here. Or oh, allied top three, not even my top. Um... We punching up? Yeah, we're punching up. They, they, they were way more experienced at the game than I am. Um, but yeah, that would have been a good thing to get. For, but I think you're right that like they were trying to counter my crawlers so bad the whole match. Um, you know, they, they basically only got to buy the melting point at the end. I guess they bought storm calls at some point. I didn't even notice. Did I notice that? Did they start with those? Whatever. Um, this is this is in Steam, by the way, guys. Yeah, it's on Steam right now. It's in like beta, but if you request it, you're automatically in. Um, I think the real moment where this person fell down is when they tried to counter my crawlers with their crawlers, and that was fine, except crawler v crawler just sandbags into each other, and then I had crowd control just mops up, yum yum. Bounty says, I think your Vulcan destroyed him so fast you didn't even notice. Oh, my, my, uh, my fortresses? Yeah. Yeah, the Vulcan, the Vulcans are the, um, crowd control flamethrower bot, that I like them a lot. And the fortresses I'm getting the hang of lately too, these are the opposite, they are anti, anti single target. They do 7,000 damage per shot. Um, but no AoE. And that's the big thing about knowing matchups in this game too, is that, like, right from the start, what let us have a good time was that first, like, I've played enough games now to know, no, don't even put the crawlers in front, have the crawlers behind a bit, because they go twice as fast as the tanks. So then by the time your forces meet, your crawlers come through, like, the Riders of Rohan, Lord of the Rings, right? Is that perfectly timed, like, rush through. And then you get the most time of this 24 unit. Each of these units only has 300 health. So every time one of these marksmen wastes their 2.8 second attack wind up doing 3,000, 2,000 damage to a 300 health unit, you're winning. And then as long as you tie them up with shit like that, you know, your, your, your units are going to get to kill their units better. And that's, that's a big thing of cost effectiveness, right? Is knowing the, the interactions of AoE and crowd units. It's the difference between single entity monsters for you total Warhammer players and horde units and the weapons that are effective against each. And lasers are so good at killing um, big units like... Their, their damage just keeps ramping up every every millisecond. So this this melting point, it's a long-range giant laser, uh, would have done an amazing job at killing these guys, except I think they just their army just still wasn't good enough. Like it's a bit too far out. If this was if this had like the sledgehammers to tank for it or something, it does better. But I got the paralysis anyway. Banny says basically don't trickle. You want all your guns to start blasting at the same time. Exactly, yeah. Exactly, yeah. You want you you want everyone to show up at the same time, ideally, yeah. But you're gonna be careful, of course, because then, you know, that's time for their snipers being here. Maybe they buy some more snipers, put them here, and now shit's showing up at the wrong time. The one reason, I know I'm talking a mile a minute, I love this game. I've only played it for th like four, three or four days, but I'm already learning a lot about it. One of the really interesting little bits of depth I like is sledgehammers, you would think immediately are bad against the snipers, because they're a unit that has a lot of health. But a normal sniper, if they're not paralyzed, has like 3,000 attack damage, 3,500 or something, and the tanks have... 3,700 HP, which means that a sniper needs to take two shots to kill them, but the second shot is mostly wasted for how much damage you're doing. It's just like a 200 damage finish off. So the sledgehammers actually do better against the snipers than you'd think. Anyway, um, that's done. Do another one. Breaking Anomicon says, so there's no target preservation for unit types, you just go for the closest? Exactly. And that is the key. The key to the game is that you can't tell your crowd control unit to kill the crowd control, and you can't tell the snipers to just kill the big units. You, that, that's the key. That's the positioning strategy of this game. 
that's how you have the crawlers um, make their snipers nullified for a while, you know? And, and that's really... That's really the meat of the strategy of the game. Supply specialist, I love this guy. So he gets 50 additional supplies per round. I love him. But someone says, especially when they pick the option to decrease firepower like 50% or whatever, it moves damage below the break point. It, it can and it can't. Yeah, that, it depends. Like I said, that shit's not so bad because often a lot of the times you're one-shotting anyway. But um, yeah, if it moves it below the break point, yeah, big problems. So they've started with the thing I had last time with the starting of a level 3 marksman. So they've got three times the damage. Um, they've got flying units from the start as well, which is always a pain to deal with. Not every... Uh, there's only, like, certain units can deal with fly units. I've started with some. The little infantries can. The infantries are a good counter because they're numerous. These guys are, like, flying snipers. They shoot slowly for higher damage. The problem... Is the arc lights counter my fang. So I need to counter the arc lights and I win, basically. Um, snipers obviously counter the arc lights pretty well here. Also just having wasps. But I can't afford wasps right away. Crawlers will... Arc lights will fuck the crawlers. They're probably still my best counter here, though. Because I don't have enough money. I, I tend to think that even if you lose the first round, it's important to always put out as many units as possible. I don't want to buy one 200 value unit. I want to buy two 200 values always. You know what I mean? So in this case, I'm going to put... Fang on the left, Fang on the right. Because I always want to have someone screen in the case there's a surprise flank attempt, okay? Um, I gotta hurry here because I'm gonna run out of time. Artillery, artillery. I did less EP than you. It's the commander choice. You go about the same speed. It's gonna be like that. And then the crawlers. I've taken too long here. We're gonna do it like this. I don't think I'm gonna win this necessarily this first round because I think the arc lights might fuck me. He's biased to one side. He's biased all the air on one side too, which is always bad. You just have to hope that the crawlers can tie up the arc lights long enough that the artillery can kill the arc lights. But you need the fangs left over to kill the phoenixes. I think I'm going to lose this. I think, like, it'll just be his phoenixes left and he'll win. They'll win, sorry. Because, yeah, the arc lights just fuck my crowd too much and now I'm just screwed. Though, my left side won. He just kind of buys the phoenixes really hard on the right. It's going to come down to we're both going to get a paralysis, but I'm actually not. Oh, shit. He's going to win. Oh, but he's got no arc lights left. Just get over the paralysis and I win. I might win here just because of how many fangs I have. Oh, they're, they're running to get the paralysis tower first, though. I got his marksman, that's nice. So now he's got these air units left and there's four of them. But I'm going to get the paralysis tower and come right back and fuck him. I'm going to win. Because... Oh no, wait a minute. Paralysis doesn't matter because even with the lower damage from paralysis, I'm going to lose. Even the lower damage from paralysis, still way over the health of one of these poor little fangs. I think I'm gonna lose. Ah! I'm, I'm behind the curve. I'm behind the curve, damn it. Just not enough left. If they'd, ru if they'd run straight for the damn fuckers from the start, it would've been okay, but that's all right. It was close, yeah. And that's pretty good, considering how hard he biased on the right. They, 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 they. Um, the cruise is a speed of steel ball. I don't want steel balls. I might want crawlers. No, I don't want crawlers. Shield devices? Uh. Do this for later. Need one, at least one AA. Yeah, so we're gonna do AA now. Yeah. Um, I still want to deal with the fact that, that they've got a great marksman. And I don't want to get fucked by phoenixes. So probably the right counter here is mustangs. Mustangs are... St I'm still worried that they're still light enough that the arc light might fuck them. What's their health? 343. So they need a bit more... They just need to push above that break point a little, goddammit. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. So these guys go 16. We want to have them coming in behind the crawlers. Okay. Behind the crawlers. How much to upgrade the stats? Um, I could do that thing. I don't think 15% defense is enough, though. Sorry, 10%. Is 15% more HP? What's 50% of 343? Fuck. Quick, quick, quick. It's enough. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. 
but I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to spend the other money, I don't think. So the, the, the idea and the hope here is that now the arc lights will take two shots to kill me instead of one. Oh, I have 394! No! Google lied to me. Oh, they did a missile consumable over here. Just blew up one of my swarms right away. They've got crawlers on crawlers over here. Here goes my Mustang, which is what I really want to watch. They're still going to get one shot by the arc lights, which I think might lose me this battle. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to lose. If those fuckers... Ah, I'm going to lose. I'm going to kill the ground units, but I'm going to lose to the air. Which is always annoying. Ah, I really... How did I do that math wrong? I typed in... I typed into Google 343 times 1.15. Is that not 15% more HP? And the result it gave me was... 390... No, it did say 394. I'm just stupid. You need chaff on the right side, maybe, yeah. Well, no, but chaff is getting... I need sledgehammers, I think. I need... I can't... The arc lights are crowd control. I need something to, like... Just deal with the arc lights. The arc lights are winning the game for them. Um, we're gonna go ahead and grab... Level 5 Fang actually wouldn't be bad here. It costs 300, but they probably have enough health to... Yeah, take two shots... Well, take two shots from the arc light, yeah. This might have been a dumb counter. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I'd say put the Fangs on the right, and you try even harder over here. Uh, what's the range? I think this is dumb. I'm, I'm probably being dumb doing this. At the very least, put them over here so that they don't die immediately. But I think this probably wasn't the right move. Um, and then all I can really afford is more crawlers. Baited by level 5 Fang. I was indeed baited by the level 5 Fang. How much upgrade health again? Um, Fitty. I'm gonna buy a I, I think I'm on track to lose this one. I think I just made like a really dumb choice of what I tried to play into there. <laughs> Okay. But you know what? We're gonna give it a go. Okay. You win some, you lose some. So they're gonna missile fuck me over here again. So again, you buy this consumable. And it just goes like... Oh no, it's gonna get them all at once! No! No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Fuck, it got two units for the price of one. That's just really perfect positioning for them. Right as my units grouped up. Um, we're doing better over here, but not good enough. And also, I just lost my tower. What how, What did I lose my tower to? I think he might have flanked with crawlers. I mean, I probably would have won this and turned it around, but the paralysis tower is going to make me lose. I probably wouldn't have won anyway because of the arc lights. So that was dumb. Um, I just need to make big units. I'm being really dumb, and I'm about to lose in two rounds. I just to make big units. He didn't flank with crawlers. His crawlers just won and pushed through. Um, I could just buy fucking marksmen too to kill his arc lights. Let's get this plus range. Um, Overlords might be good too for killing the chaff, and but they'll get fucked by that. Um, probably go for the fortresses, I think. Unfortunately, the marksmen and the phoenixes will get through them, but not in time, I think. I think I'm doing this wrong, and I'm gonna do the overdrive, like, money thing, because I, I'm about to lose, and I really need to, like, win a match. Win at least, like, one match. I'm gonna put extra range on you, actually, I think. And you can't move the items once they're on. Like, once they're on, they're on. Okay, so that's 400 for you. I can buy one for each side. It might be better off to just buy the anti-air barrage ability. Which launches um, guided missiles, which by the time the phoenixes get in range, will just kill them. And the phoenixes are fucking me up a lot, so that'll be really be good. Buy that, and then maybe buy some more mustangs. He likes the he likes to do the consumable missile thing. So if I buy more mustangs and I then get the anti missile thing, I can get rid of those. Probably the best thing I can buy here. Let's buy more mustangs. Buy some on the left. We don't have any on the left. And they'll help me like mop up these crawlers. Okay, I'm hoping this is a better round for me. No flank still. They've bought way more crawlers. They're actually gonna fuck me for, for crawler spam now. And they bought their own fortress. Oh shit. I think I'm gonna get pressured too hard here. I'm like too behind the behind the curve. Oh, those missiles can miss? Oh, that sucks. That's quite annoying. I was betting on those wiping the phoenixes. I'm in trouble now. 
Well, there we go. They're not as good as I thought, though. They can get countered really easily. <laughs> that kind of sucks. I think I would have won if those had wiped those phoenixes properly. Now they're going to kill that. Ah, fuck. That really sucks. I didn't know those could miss. I was kind of planning on taking out the phoenixes. I guess they, like, hit a target that sits still. I'm, like, one round from death. So do the money thing again. I'm getting fucked up all day. Um, free sledgehammers is good. I'll take it. We're gonna have to make another fortress. So we can put the sledgehammer factory on them. Now you know probably you should put fortress way behind, or so you launch out the phoenix stop moving. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good point. And I should probably... I want to fight their fortress, but I should probably just, like, try to win one lane. And you're right, like, put it, put it back here. One, so it gets the most tanks out possible, and two, so it doesn't get in range and shoot the missiles until the phoenixes have set still to, to engage me. I think you're right. And whatever I buy here, it better be good. Um, what upgrades have I got? I can upgrade you, fuck yeah. So that limits me to something cheap. So we'll just buy some more crawlers, I guess. If you drop a crawler far forward, the phoenix is up to sh sh shoot. Also a fair point. Also a good point. I can get good damage out of both of them then. Just have like a sacrificial crawler here for that. Or I could have more to deal with. Nah, yeah. That's actually a good idea. Can you save up money? You, c you can, but I'm probably about to lose. So I'm not going to. I'm just going to shit on their crawlers. They have a consumable missile. And I'm either going to turn the tide here or I'm going to just die. So we'll see. They like using the missile consumable before we deploy a crawl to bait it. Um, yeah, it kind of did last time. Like, here comes another one. I think the crawlers will bait that. Just, no, they won't. Damn. Let me go into the fangs. Oh, no, they did. Perfect. Good. And the phoenixes are gone. It works this time. No way they moved them. Aha! Smart. They got the... Very smart. They're going to paralyze me. They're going to win again. Um, they got the jump drive thing. These are one of the units where you can buy an upgrade unless you move them. That was clever. Good work. I am going to lose again, I think, because they're going to get my tower, and that's going to be very, very telling. But maybe, I mean, there's a, you know, there, there's a chance. Not a very good chance. No, I'm fucked. <laughs> I, the paralysis is just going to kill me here. Oh, and the paralysis wastes the anti-air barrages, and they're not shooting the marksman anymore. Why? Ah, uh, the paralysis again. Please! Ah, uh, yeah, just the paralysis killing me. That was just smart, turning the phoenixes over to the left. Um, he, they've been getting my towers every time, and it's really been turning the tides in a lot of rounds. Those anti-air missiles seem pretty bad. They're actually pretty good a lot, honestly. I'm not going to die yet, though. Honestly, they're actually pretty good, um, usually. Okay, it, now it's the real last chance. Okay, decreases the cost of upgrading units by... Oh, it's this thing. Okay, again, full money. I think we buy more fortresses, because I think they're doing the most for us. Um, I, th I think they're doing the most for us. They probably counter me if they just buy, like, one laser, but fuck it. They're probably gonna win anyway. Like, they only have to buy, like, one laser to counter me now, I think. But, but fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Um, okay. I'd like to get the barriers, but I can't. Unless I, like, refund these. The popping in the UI buffers you greatly. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. That's, like, the one downside of this game is that popping sound. Maybe trying to bend on the flank and make a spend on that. Nah, I, I need to defend my towers. My things. I wish I had enough money to get the shield barriers for these guys, but I don't. Uh, what upgrades can I get? Can I get, up get good upgrades? I can get the better versus anti- Oh! 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 High explosive ammo! To deal with the, the, the swarms. High explosive ammo. I've never tried this before, but we're going to see if it's any good. And upgrade these Mustangs. And seeing as it's the end of the fucking road, you may as well also update- upgrade these fangs, I guess. Okay. This is it. So you unit cap? Nah. Well, you can only recruit some amount of turn, is what the unit cap is. The high explosive ammo is shredding through the crawler swarms, at least that's good. I've got to defend my towers. 
Which I kind of am. I hope they don't like get a lucky sniper them. There's not much sitting in front of them. If I get AoE, I'm fucked. I gotta get more tanks in front of them. But okay, we're hitting back. I've got more fortresses than him. I've taken out the phoenixes of anti-air barrages. I've got more fortresses to take out his fortresses. I'm a bit worried though that the marksmen are gonna get me. But I've got artillery to hit them too. I'm gonna win. No? Fuck, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna win, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna lose. Ah! It's so low, please. Okay, I get paralyzed. Which is really fucking bad because paralysis loses games. However, I... Oh, he's gonna come paralyze me again. When they chain one paralysis to another, it's a problem. He's gonna prioritize me again, I, but I'm gonna get theirs. Okay, I get theirs, I think I win now easily. I've got two, two fortresses, I think I win anyway. And I'm producing all these free... It's great that this one lives so long, because every 13 seconds I produce two sledgehammer tanks for free, and that's fucking rad. I'm getting like rad value out of that in this match, in this round. Look at all those free tanks. Okay, now I can get the barrier for them, and I need more crowd control, I think. I think I need even more crowd control, maybe more Mustangs. Because I'm really worried, like, the, the obvious counter that kill me now is to just buy lasers. Just buy lasers, like, one unit of steel balls just beats my fortresses. Um, I gotta put up a shield. And a parasitic ammo. Yeah, make our, make our own crawlers. That's good. That's good. That's good value. Who's got the most kills here? Who's leading the kills? 119. That's a fucking lot. But who, who's leading them? Someone's got more, apparently. 200 kills on this Stormcaller, apparently. Is that right? Okay, I guess put it on the Stormcrawlers, then. Put it on Explosive ammo. I probably should have put it on the Explosive ammo. I, like, now that it's Explosive, it's probably better. But fuck it. Go with what the stats say. Probably this unit would have been the best one for it, but fuck it. Um, I'm gonna buy the barriers. On these guys, and then yeah, probably just more Mustangs is my guess, is my is my my thinking here. With they don't have any missiles, do they? No, but he likes to use missile upgrade. Um, aerial specialization increases range by forty. Maybe increase range. No, 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 no. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Here, actually, do upgrades. Do upgrades. Upgrades are more valuable here, especially on boom. That's valuable. Buy some crawlers. Use the thing. Upgrades are more value here. Upgrade them. I need some more body swarming here. I can buy more. Huh. Oh. Now I've got units waiting on the flanks. What has he done? I didn't see what he did. He's got like a level three arc light. It's kind of scary. Oh my god! It's starting to lag of how many units are on the field. They're pushing me pretty hard on the right. Didn't buy lasers though, so you'd think I'd be okay? We'll see. All my fortresses have their own shields now, so they're overlapping like the best Supreme Commander strats. I'm losing on the left though. Just too many snipers on the left, I think. I gotta deal with those snipers. Oh, too many snipers, too many snipers. I'm in trouble. Upgraded snipers too. Oh shit, I think I'm gonna lose just from all the snipers. I think I'm just gonna, just gonna lose from the snipers. What is with those? It's like they're flat. Like, oh! Oh! The missile battery's got the sniper, but the sniper's still alive. Fuck. I'm spawning tanks though. I'm spawning free tanks. This round looked a lot like last round. It did. Which is funny when you consider that we both like did things different. I guess those are like AoE. They like have a really fucking hard time actually hitting one. I guess they're bad against phoenixes. I think I'm gonna win though. I think, I think I should win. I don't know, actually. Fuck. Pretty scary. Upgraded units are really dangerous. But I, th I think the, the three tanks might be the difference that I need here. Otherwise, I would have lost for sure. Come on, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Go, three tanks. 
Oh, I'm just hanging on in 236. How do I win here? How the fuck do I win? You know he's gonna use that on me, so I'm gonna use that on him. He's gonna use- this, this will just kill like a unit straight up. I gotta upgrade all of these guys that I can, because he's just gonna like tungsten- tungsten thing me. It goes through shields. I can tungsten him though. Them. Is it flank sniper time? Maybe it's time to flank them. I think they're close enough they'll just kill me though. Where can I do the most damage here? Lots of nice snipers over here if I play that tungsten right. This is the side that keeps winning though. I gotta do the rest of my turn too. Fuck, 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 fuck. I think you wanna like hit this thing as well. So probably just put it like there and hit this guy really hard. He's gonna have to go into shit. He's got units close enough I think that if I flank they'll just go back and kill them. Maybe I should get my own laser to deal with their fortress. This is a win or lose moment. Well, they all are. This is not a sniper counter, which is what we really want here. Um, fuck. What do I do to counter snipers? More crawlers? The crawlers are not what we need countered more. I guess more Mustangs? I don't know. I, I, I feel like I fucked it. I've, I've left it too late. Fuck. I gotta upgrade shit. Fuck. I think I spent too long deciding on my... Oh no, I put it too close to him. He's gonna tungsten it. I just, I just lost. I put this too close and it's gonna get tungstened. Maybe. Maybe not. He's getting rid of my crawler artillery, which is an interesting choice. Okay. I don't, I, I don't think I did well enough here. I think I rushed that deployment phase too much and too dumbly. This laser needs to kill their fortresses or I lose. That's what it's all gonna come down to. Oh man, I've already lost all my frontline on the right too. He's just spamming those snipers. Should I just have more crawlers? Like, fuck. And the lasers are getting stuck behind the, the robots, unfortunately. Oh, I got through theirs! Uh, but it doesn't matter because the laser can get stuck. The laser can get stuck! I didn't know the laser could get stuck! Fuck. I'm gonna lose because my fucking laser is gonna be useless. I did not know that the laser's dumb AI could just get stuck. I lose this time. Ah, uh, we tried. Already kind of the snipers. Ah, uh, that so fucking sucks. If the laser had just done anything and killed these two, I would have won. I'm, I'm like slightly mad. Damn it. The paralysis timing though here? No, it's fuck. Fuck, please paralyze. I'm dead. If I got that fucking tower, there was a chance. You put a laser behind your other units? Yeah, because I've, I, I've never experienced in this game before units literally getting stuck behind other units. I've only seen that just then, so... I guess you just gotta be aware of that with the laser, is that it's so big and dumb, it'll just get stuck. That that doesn't usually happen, like, Slink. That's, that's either a bug or it's a thing of the laser I've never seen before. Unfortunate. But yeah, I mean, we did okay. We really lost early on, we lost so much health. Um, he just spammed snipers, I didn't counter them very well. Snipers are air and ground. Um, I'm not sure what I would have done to counter them differently. Someone said artillery was countering them. Yeah, maybe, maybe more artillery. I, I, I never really, it, that's one way they're watching the replay of a useful, because I never really understood quite how they were winning against my front line so well, apart from just sniper spam. I thought by spamming Mustangs that the Mustangs would do well. I don't know if they got some kind of AoE at some point for the Mustangs. I never saw what was killing the Mustangs is the problem. I actually don't know what was killing the Mustangs. So, I, I don't know. I really thought the Mustangs would be a good pick, because they're numerous, so the snipers won't be able to deal with them. But, uh, no, they, they were just always dead whenever I looked over. I don't know what was killing them. He was just on a unit of artillery, true. I didn't have the artillery for that last round. Maybe, maybe sniper is, um, maybe artillery was. The, the, the artillery is really counterable. Um by the Mustang thing, but they're still really good units. Okay, let's go Supply Specialist again. The Phoenix attracted you from doing more crawlers? Maybe, yeah. I was trying to counter those Phoenixes really hard. It's tough when you, um, when they have an air unit in their starting, like I do here. So Marksmiths, oh fucking hell. <laughs> so they've got the perfect units for anti-air here. <laughs> the, my, my Phoenixes are garbage, fuck. Um, I, I just need to bring in probably sledgehammers that trade pretty well against marksmen and will fuck the mustangs. 
Um, though if I do that, probably just crawler spam and lose the first round. Because if I unlock the sledgehammers... Okay, just unlock the sledgehammers this turn, but just like buy crawlers. Because I won't be able to afford enough units otherwise. Um, the phoenixes go way back. We're going to put you here. You here. Just a big line of crawlers back here. Oops. I can actually do it like this, and I can um, try to get there. I can try to snipe their thingy. You no, know I mean? Yeah, their thingy, that's right. So they'll probably deploy to counter that. It's good to have at least one unit, I think, or like one or two units closer. Ah, if he wants to storm crawl me, fuck it, let him storm crawl me. There's a there's a thing where he can just storm crawl my things now, but he won't be expecting it for turn one. I'll buy sledgehammers next turn, and it'll, it'll probably be okay. So you go 16, you go 16. This should be cool. Now I can do Clever Girl Jump Jets. Yeah, now I can do the switch around. The switch around was a really good move from that person. Also, I think um, we we learned that the Fortress anti-air missiles are not as good as I thought. And are not like a, a, a very good counter. Okay, so the Mustangs will do okay against the Crawlers, but they're not that good. Oh, they've got their own Phoenixes. Interesting. I think I win. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I think I win. Easy. No way. The Mustangs are the only unit there could, that could barely deal with Crawlers. They've invested in three units that really can't deal with crawlers very well. And I think, again, we want to spam crawlers and, you know, don't let them do whatever the strategy they're thinking of. Force them to respond to crowds. Does somebody say crawlers? They do, yes. Crawlers are a great value for that reason. Um, the creases of the teleportion time required to restrict you to split enemies to by fear, blah, 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 blah. I could do that here. That could be fun. Or just a free guided missile could also be quite useful. You can just wipe out a unit of the Mustangs for free. So it's a cooldown of every two rounds. It's pretty good. Flank crawlers. I might just do flank crawlers for fun, yeah. Because then they have to like put units to deal with the flank crawlers as well. Um. Yeah, like, it's, it's very low investment, you know? The biggest fear here is, honestly, that... The biggest fear for me would be... Just make sure they're not... Yeah. No, yeah. Make, make the sniper come over and deal with them, but not the Mustangs. That's what we want here. Don't don't be close enough that the Mustangs get you. Oh, the Mustangs are going to get you anyway. Whatever. The biggest fear for me would be them just going, like, heavy air. And the crawl is just losing because I have no anti-air. <laughs> That'd be my biggest fear here. Um, let's buy an energy shield too. It'd be good against the marksmans. Be very good. Let's buy the energy shield for them and unlock a unit for free. So we'll unlock probably my own marksmans. Oh, good to have. So I just put an energy shield that is their health again, and it will it it will always take at least one hit by mustangs. So even if you overkill them, it will always the shield will break first, like freelancer. So it's very good against, because they only have 1600 XP, it's great against these units because it forces them to get two shot, no matter what. Absolute slaughter here. As long as my phoenixes kill their phoenixes. Yep, absolute slaughter. I'm a bit worried about their air game. But those flanking crawlers are mean. They're a very low investment, like they can counter them now, that's fine. They're a very low investment, it's only 200, 200 bucks. And it also encourages them to go heavy crowd control. But, importantly, they can't just put a Vulcan to counter all flanks at once. So they have to invest more here to try and stop the crawlers, I think. Which is great for me. Cost effective. You just throw away a 100 unit crawler up there. As long as it's cost effective, that's fine. Increases the upgrade cost of crawler by 50. That means I can upgrade all of my crawlers for free this match. That's actually maybe worth it. I have a lot of them. I like it more than the other things. That just makes them free to upgrade. I never usually bother upgrading them because it doesn't really increase their health break points and I usually use them as a health distraction. But considering that gives me free crawler upgrades, okay. Okay, um, now, okay, they've got arc lights for the CC. I didn't even notice them, so my strategy apparently still worked great. Um, 
They have 522 health now, and now if I buy Subterranean Blitz, they last even longer. Give us a cruel upgrade on the right. Uh, no, they just haven't got an XP yet. And now, maybe buy more Phoenixes? Just to kill their Phoenixes? Yeah, maybe. Or I could buy Mustangs, but I don't really have the thing for it right now. Maybe more Phoenixes, yeah. Whatever crowd control they buy. If they buy a Vulcan, it's going to suck against Phoenixes. It's not going to be able to do anything, so... Yeah. Just buy some more Phoenixes. I've already got an upgrade for them, too. So the upgrades are for every unit of that type. So the more you have, hey, the more value you're getting out of them. I just want to put Phoenixes on the flank to, like, whatever they put there to counter them, like, punish it. But I don't know what it is yet. I'm not that brave. I'm not that brave. I'm just going to go for the middle. So they bought an Overlord, which, as I said, I was more worried about their air game. Because I'm so crawler heavy, it makes sense. Just get a fucking... Uh, I hope my Phoenixes kill it. Oh, yeah. So Subterranean Blitz is an upgrade the crawlers get, where they stay underground. Hell yeah. Until they get close and then they tunnel out of the ground. While underground... Oh, fuck yeah. While underground, they take 70% reduced damage, which again, break points. But because these guys are upgraded, they already have enough health to survive a bit of explosive damage. Um, and just all the time, their movement speed is increased by 3. So he tried to buy, they tried to buy the Overlord to counter uh, my ground heavy strat, but I've got the Phoenixes, and the Phoenixes fucked that Overlord on its own. That's nasty, it was. I kind of want to buy my own Overlord now to, to counter their Overlord. What on earth is this? It's Mechabellum, and it fucking rules. I think you need more crawlers. I, I don't think I need more crawlers. <laughs> oh, if I get this thing, I can get the missile every turn, and I can buy more stuff. We'll get this, and I can use the missile every turn. Cool down one rounds. Put it here and try to get two units at once. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is the missile a kind of this overlord? What missile? What are you talking about? Marksmen are a good kind of the overlord as well, and they're quite cheap. Maybe just buy some marksmen here. Because I'm, I'm wiping their front lines, so just some marksmen here will also fuck that thing up. Or a laser, a melting point will kill it, but I think marksmen are like a nice cheap investment into it, as long as they're screened properly. I could also just go more phoenixes and then buy more upgrades to go harder into them, but... Oh, crawl upgrade. I'm thinking marksmen here, and then save the money. Again, remember, it's about being cost effective, right? Uh, these guys could be a bit closer, though. Shit, I gotta spend the rest of my money. Fuck. Um, let's attack. Let's see. Someone five fangs. No. Quick reload. Have I done enough? Oh, I think I beat that one, Arclight. The Vulcan's gonna counter them on the right. That's fine. The shield stopped that from happening. They've got a repositioning on the Overlord, which is a bit scary here. Oh, shit. Oh, but the Krill's gonna tank for long enough, I think, so it's fine. Okay, they got Mustangs over there too. My Phoenix goes down. This this is the problem here. This is the scary problem. Oh, that's this problem. They've got the jump drive on this thing, and that's gonna win them the game. That's gonna win them the game. Unless you guys kill that fucking thing right the fuck now, I'm gonna lose ya. Yeah. That, that Overlord reposition won them the round there. Absolutely. This is why I think I should buy my own Overlord to counter their Overlord. Because the Overlord's got, like, AoE. It's really good at killing these flimsy air units and multiple them at once. So now I auto-lose because he's got the Overlord. Always get caught by this jump drive ability. It's a good ability. It's a really good ability. So Marksmen weren't the play there. I tried to be a bit too cost-effective. An Overlord would have been better. My Overlord would have won. For sure. Now I take big hits there because he's got big units. So right, I'm losing a lot of shit right away. Asteroids on the field of two rounds, oh my. Game change routine supplies every unit. Oh, photo demission. This is good. Okay. Should you jump to the Phoenix to respond? Nah, I think I'm just gonna buy Overlord. But they can jump over to Wan as well. They're going straight for this thing, is the issue, right? I think I just buy a couple of Overlords of my own and fight back. Especially because the Vulcan is quite a ground-heavy investment. It'll never be able to take on air. Okay. 
Interesting place to flank from, too. Really interesting place to flank from there. I like it. The funny thing is they could also just put a storm... If They haven't done it yet, but they could literally just storm call it if they wanted. I think that's what I'm going to do this turn, is I'm going to actually place some shields just over the edges of these, so that if they try it again, I've got time to work through them. Because these recharge as long as they don't get taken down. Did I do that right? I hope so. If I didn't, I'll be mad. Photon emission, by the way, is all allied forces in the area take 50% less damage, which is pretty fun. For the first 20 seconds. I kind of want to put my overlords together for that reason. Nah, I'm not going to, though. They probably move that because they think they're so clever, and they, they, they are kind of clever, so I'll put that over here. But they're probably going to move again because they'll be like, oh, now they'll count my overlords. They'll like, come around here. No, they stayed right there. Oh, but they're leveled up. However, maybe with the Phoenixes I'm okay. We'll see. That's a twice as... Oh, it just fucking annihilated me. <laughs> wow, he just one salvoed me. Fuck. That's the power of upgrades, unfortunately. Oh, and it's so low, but it's going to get the paralysis off me again, which might win again. Just go clap. Leveling up is no, no joke. Leveled up units are literally twice as powerful. I may still come out on top. I think I still come out on top here, though. As long as I get that marksman before it kills my overlords. The paralysis is fucking me here, but as soon as the paralysis wears off, I kill this overlord and I win. It's just this overlord's gonna win in the game if I'm not careful. The paralysis is worn off. I just need to fucking turn around and kill this thing and I win. Please stop shooting the shield. Please, please, I'm begging you. Yes, yes, sniper, please. Yes, okay, I think I win now. I think I win. Yeah, I win. That sniper, that sniper just saved the mission. Hero sniper. So fucking brave. By the way, this one on the left, didn't it also have the, the half damage as well? That's spooky. I need to counter that bad boy on the left. Um, redeployment. Every round I can move someone around, that's pretty handy. Um... How are they killing this so fast? You moved the half damage to the right. Oh, did I? That's why this lost so quick then. I don't particularly want to redeploy too hard here. I want to get a lot of upgrades in. Um, probably get more overlords too. Probably get like... Oh, at the start of... Upgrade? At the start of the battle, everyone within 100 meters of me just gets that effect, by the way. That photon effect. Pretty fucking good. With that in mind... Um... More snipers here, I think? Maybe do the thing where we buy an extra unit this turn, increase the number of units can be purchased this round by one. Buy like a sniper over here. Maybe even two snipers. And then like buy another overlord, I think. And then get some upgrades in where I can get them, so... Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Oh, I've got the, the Nazi number, no. Oh, free upgrades, right. Oh, just got it. Let's see how this goes. So they've, they've jumped their overlord back now. I photon everything, so everything takes half damage. Except for the overlords, unfortunately. The overlords themselves don't get it. They jumped the, the ship back now. Ah, a little sneaky flank on the right, but I'm going to get it with my Overlord. Take out the Overlord right away. Okay. They've got a laser here to try and take out my Overlords, but I think we're going to fucking precision United States Air Force strike it. Yep. Phoenix has got it. And you're done. Complete route. Completely routed. I think I just win this round because 400, 800, 1200. I think I just, I just kill him right this round. Yep. There we go. That was looking a bit rough at some of those points, but uh, we, we made that work. Banny says, should you upgrade the flank crawler so they'd be a nuisance for longer? Yeah, I, sh I should have. They were free. I just forgot because they're out of my camera pan. You know what I mean? So yeah, are you guys getting the idea of this game? I fucking love it. Do you, are you guys starting to see why I fucking love it? Because it is so strategic. It is, it is literally the perfect auto battle for me. I want to thank the Elfman so much. For saying on stream last weekend, hey, you should check this game out. It's it's amazing. I'm addicted to it. I was like, okay, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, they're right, man. The Elfman's right. This game is so fucking addictive. 
Um, it's just got... It's it's really well balanced. Um, I feel like all the units are useful, except the hacker. I've, we never see anyone use the hacker. It seems very finicky. Um, the upgrades, like, there's a lot of good upgrades. There's a lot of good, like, strategies. Lots of different stuff. There's just enough randomness involved with, like, the stuff you get each match after each round and your starting commanders. But at the same time... Except for the starting commanders, you get different choices at that, but at the same time, everyone gets the same picks on either side of units and things you get to pick from randomly after each round, so it's very fair. Cycle so says me and my boy might get this. Well, if you do, you'll find out this game has 2v2 as well. Yeah, there's 2v2. I've never done it yet. I'm gonna- I could try and see if I can get a match for it. But- but it's really fucking awesome. Um, there, there's like- when I first got this game and I thought I understood what this game would be like, I was like, oh, there's only like 12 units, that's not many, like thinking like TFT and shit. But no, it's plenty. Like, every single unit has its own purpose, has its own role. They can multi-role and upgrades. Upgrades help a lot with that. Um, when I first started playing this game, I thought, before I really played any matches, I did all my upgrade choices. And I was like, oh, you know, set them up to be synergistic because you're going to get all of them. No, because the cost of the upgrades increases for each one you get on the same unit. Um, so... The first time you get an upgrade on a crawler, it's only, you know, da-da. But next time you get the second upgrade, it's 400. Third upgrade on the same unit is like 600, and so on. So actually, the the thing to do is, um, I realized, is to have a bunch of different upgrade choices that aren't meant to all be bought in the same match, but give you options. Like, for example, with the Mustangs. Um, you know, the Mustangs, I took away something else from them and gave them the AoE shock, so I was like... Okay, yeah, so this way I can go heavy Mustangs, and if they go really heavy crowd units, I can then pick the uh, HE rounds on them, and I can pivot into, um, you know, anti-crowd of Mustangs, and they can serve that role. Um, you know, no shit like that is really useful. Like, you've got here, like, the Crawlers have Acidic Explosion, where if they die, um, units in their, they, they drop Acid Pools, and units in those Acid Pools look 6% HP per second and have their defense reduced. When you use that, of course you're going to use that, when um, the enemy has lots of giant units, right? Or like, you know, the swarms of medium units and you want to make those suicide crawlers suddenly start doing way more damage. Um, and, and it's really interesting because like, once you buy an upgrade for a unit, every unit gets it. So it kind of rewards you for buying a lot of one unit. Like suddenly buying an upgrade for only one unit you have on the field isn't as good as buying, oh, I have seven crawlers. Subterranean Blitz is giving me a lot of value. Um, and then, you know, the opponent can do things to counter it. As you guys can see, there are some ways to reposition some units, but it's rare. And most of the battle is about this, this really interesting and strategic buildup of adding more forces and tweaking the battle and iterating on it from this tiny skirmish up to this massive um, combined arms brawl. It's super interesting. And then you have these like little objectives, the paralysis, which turns battles as well, which are so valuable to go for and mean, you know, you always got to defend them. It's why I always, in my round one, I almost always just set up my units to defend against them. There's a there's a fun strategy you can do that someone showed me though, by doing it to me. Where if you if you're like me, where the entire match I never placed a unit forward of these guys, guess what you can do? You just play Stormcrawlers here. You play Stormcrawlers right on the front line, and they immediately they have just enough range to immediately kill the, the towers. And this this person did it to me, did that, and then they put shields on, on the front of them. And for the first few rounds, I just could not fucking get through their shields. So I realize now what I should have done is crawlers being melee, just ignore shields. Um, but I didn't do that at the time. And there, there's, like, counters that are, like, soft counters and hard counters. Like, there's counters that are conditional. Like, you would think, like, oh, the artillery unit, you know, easily kills crawlers, right? But there's a condition to that. The artillery missiles are not guided. So the crawlers are too fast. Any unit that goes as fast as the crawler is 16 meters, um, they actually get out of the blast zone before the missiles hit. So the storm crawlers do wipe out the crawlers, but only if you sandbag the crawlers in place while the missiles hit them. Um, so there, there's like nuances like that you learn which are really important. Um, and the positioning is so important. Garfra says the answer to everything seems to be more crawlers. I find crawlers are very easily countered, but maybe I'm just not spamming enough of them. I mean, Elfman who showed me this game said they're fucking meta. Um, I find they are very easily countered if you just go crawlers. Like, and, and, and this was kind of the genius of the flank crawlers, because it's a hundred, it's a hundred investment. But they bought a 400-point Vulcan just to counter these crawlers. This poor fucker got so little XP or match, I bet it barely even could level up. Because it'd just be killing one crawler unit around, right? Um, if that Vulcan was here, and it was fighting all, like, five of these units, it kills all five units of these crawlers. Now, that's value. That's value. 
And one thing I love with the Cruel, uh, the Vulcans, and I, yeah, they do have it, they have an incredible upgrade called Best Partner, where at the start of a round, they drop a marksman behind them that is the same level as them. So you can imagine how good that is, because it's the great combo. It's peanut butter and jelly. It's Vulcan kills the crowds, marksman kills the big things. It's great. But yeah, there's just so much to it. And then you get the abilities that come in that are like every so often a few turns. And they, they can definitely like turn, turn a, a, around. But because it's about be winning multiple rounds and they have cooldowns, you, the money you invested in getting one could have just won you the game by buying more units. You know what I mean? And there's ways you can deal with a lot of them. Like unless it's Tungsten Strike, you can just shield them. Um, the missile things can be countered by the, the Mustangs. It's great. I love this game. I've only just started getting into it. I'm still such a tiny baby, as you can see by my combat rating. Um, but yeah, but I, I'm already in love with this game, you know, it's, um, this is what I meant when I loved Beyond Conduct today, and I was like, oh man, I'm gonna show you guys two games I love today. Can I get a 2v2? I've never tried 2v2 before, and I want to see what it's like. Right here with you guys. Is anyone playing 2v2? Let's find out. Garfer says tiny guys dropping a big guy seems really weird to me. No, 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 other way around. The, the Vulcan, the Vulcan drops the, uh, the, the, the marksman. Looks like a lot of people actually do like lobby 2v2s actually. <laughs> Their total combat power is 180,000 this lobby. Thor's is a thousand. What a lad. You think it was a tiny infantry guy dropping a marksman? No, the marksman's dropped the tiny infantry guys though as one of their upgrades. Which can be useful. Conditionally, that can be quite useful. These guys have a combined 1 million combat power. Oh my fuck. Yeah, I should just join a lobby. Oh, wait, I got one. Just as I clicked it. Okay, it's... It's you and me, it's Chio. It's, um, there's a bunch of different, like, regional regions, but they all match mate together. That's the numbers on top. 501 is English speaking. Might have trouble getting 2v2 as solo, because more people would queue 2v2 as a party. Yeah, that makes sense too, yeah. But we got one. We got one in about a minute. I'm actually surprised. Okay, so you have less health, which makes sense. I wonder if it's combined, or if you can actually, like, take one person out. I like Supply Specialist. I like, I, I always like economy. So, I've never done this before, we'll see what- Oh. Wow, the battlefield's so much bigger. What the- Wh Oh, what the fuck? Is that my teammate? Wait, so they get to be back to back. Oh no, I can place you- Oh, this is too complicated for me. Oh, this, <laughs> this is too complicated for me. Now there's two frontal deployment zones and four enemy flank zones. Okay, just play your own game, right? Th this is interesting. Wow, this is interesting. Okay, just play against my guy. So my guy is Stormcrawlers and Crawlers. Um, the Crawlers are going to fuck me up. They beat Fangs, but not that hard. I've got to counter their Stormcrawlers. Air is a really cheesy but obvious counter here, but I'd have to pay a lot. I'd have to do the... I might win the whole damn game, though, because they're... Okay, I'm going to do it in, in case I win the whole damn game for my teammate, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay 300 next round and get 200 extra this round. Unlock wasps. I'm just going to buy two pairs of wasps. I'm going to put one unit of them here. And maybe even give my allies some, too. Mm, yeah. Yeah. They'll get countered, really. Oh, no, I can't do it. Never mind. I thought that was... I was gonna say that'd be cute if you could deploy with your ally. Never mind. Shit, I gotta fucking uh, set my shit up, by the way. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Now, these guys are gonna get melted by the enemy Stormcrawlers, unfortunately. They just do not have... Um... In fact, fuck. Uh... Ah, too slow. They don't have the speed. I placed it all wrong because I wasted too much time blood bowling. No, I placed this wrong and now I'm worried the marksman's gonna kill my wasps, which are my big win card here. No, I don't think they're gonna kill them fast enough, though. I think I, think I auto win because of that. What about over here? Um, they have no anti air, which is good because I'm probably gonna have to carry. Unless it doesn't work like that, we'll see. Kill the marksman and I win. Oh, they got their paralysis tower, nice. They got the control tower. I'm gonna get theirs.
Paralyzing one person doesn't paralyze their whole team. Oh, yeah, my guy's definitely gonna lose. Actually, if that marksman lives, maybe not. Oh, you're gonna win. Go, my guy, go. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, no. But that's okay. Because I'm here to carry for you, buddy. With my air cheese. <laughs> Very, especially early on, people who don't start with air counters often neglect to get an air counter. So you can just auto win the game as long as your air units can kill them before the timeout. Like, they just come to die. They just come sit under your air units. It's sad. So round one, round two, um, yeah, as Kuno says, Sky Cancer is a very effective cheese. This is so interesting. So, like, you win your own battles, and then you might have to, like, 2v1 after. Layers of size, extra magic impacts. Launch as much magic impact shot that deals 35 damage to shields. Uh, range. Let's go range. Okay, I don't want to upgrade these guys because it just makes them a better target for the marksman to kill. They are going to go anti-air now, having just lost. Everyone who gets punked by air cheese will always go hard into anti-air. Mustangs is, or an overlord would be the counter here. It's probably too early for an overlord. I only have 100 this turn. I can double down and I probably will again, but it's ugh, it's making me pay a lot. Just so I can buy more crawlers though. Or any crawlers actually. Crawlers would be a better counter against the storm crawlers too. Wait, I didn't need to do that. I'm stupid. I'm dumb. I'm an idiot. Okay, we're gonna buy... Plus attack. For the extra money, because I'm stupid. So now what we want to do is we want to have the... Crawlers bait the Stormcaller shots. Right... As we're getting to the point where the Stormcallers will be hitting them, but not... To the, to the degree that they lure the fire onto the fangs is the big thing here. We do not want that to happen. So you gotta kind of like time it right here, okay? Because you, if you put them too close together and the crawlers are here and the fangs are here, the missiles will hit the fangs. We don't want that. We do not want that at all. Probably put them up just a little bit more just to be safe. So Mustangs I'm expecting, yep, obvious counter for Air is Mustangs, it's the only real choice. They put a hacker, my teammate is weird. Oh, it hacks really quickly on light units though, wow, never mind. They brought more, they brought more marksmen too, which is a bit scary. My crawlers are well timed here I think, buying some time against the uh, storm crawlers. But they went pretty heavy on marksmen too, and more than the Mustangs, I think the marksmen might be positioned right. No, I think we're still gonna win. Oh, my, my teammate fucking rolled, by the way. So the hacker is this unit that captures enemy units. I've never seen anyone make it work. Because I thought it took like 10 seconds, but maybe on lighter units it's way quicker. Because that hacker hacked them like instantly. It's only for one unit. What is? Immune paralysis for tower control? Yeah, it's only for one unit. I see what you're saying, Garfar. Okay, this time we both won. Anti-hat, yeah, yeah, it's only for one unit, which is useful, but yeah, it's an item for one. Also, our helps are com helps are combined. I wish Jamba wanted to play this. I'd play this all day with her. Do you, do you're like you're kind of two v two. You're kind of not like you. You're only gonna meet in the middle if one side gets wiped out. So it's not as two v two as it could be, but it kind of is. It's a weird kind of two v two. This is a really good one. Uh, three deployable units per turn. As as I say, I think you should always spend the most deployable units possible. So this is great. Oh, what the fuck, buddy? You're ever gonna win or you're gonna throw three hackers? Probably just more crawlers here because again, they're they're scared of air, so they went they went for marksmen. As long as I get it on the storm crawlers, I don't give a fuck. I need to build my crawlers though in a way. Flank, it's flank time. Because I need them to be in a position where they don't all clump up and die to one storm crawler shot. It's it's flanking time. Oh, here's the 2v2 part. I still want to place them on my allies team, man. Hey, can I pull those steel balls over here? Holy shit, I can! That's interesting. That's very interesting. That is not a good matchup for the steel balls, I don't think. I, Like, it's not terrible, but it's not good. That is very interesting that I'm allowed to do that. That is, that is something. 
So, I could not aggro the balls, but I think I want to aggro the balls here. And I will eventually lose, but now their crawlers don't come to tie up my storm calls, which means I get straight in on their mustangs and artillery. I think this is a really good move. Even if these crawlers just die, which they probably will, because they're going to have flank coming in time this round. Wow, I can bait my teammate's opponent's steal balls back so they don't show up in time because he plays them backwards because they're fast. Now there's no crawlers to soak my guys coming in. So my guys dodge all the missiles and get to go straight in on their mustangs. If I get um, subterranean blitz now, I'm not even going to take fire from those mustangs. Banny says the edge team has way bigger advantage against middle team because of that. Yeah, that's what the fuck. Value crawlers, yeah. I can bait two things at once. And now the steel balls. The steel balls are fighting me now! Oh shit! Did I did I big brain myself? No, because I got air. And oh man, my teammates kind of My teammate lost, even pulling. No, he didn't. He kinda did, but he kinda didn't. So I pulled I pulled two 200 value steel balls to my side and still win my side. I pulled them away from my teammate and he lost. Is that because my teammate was planning on hacking them? <laughs> Gavra says, I thought it was going to be side by side, it actually gets stupid. Yeah, I don't know, like, is this Imba? What advantage does the middle team have for being middle? That seems like way, way, I don't know, that's, that's hard. That's way harder for them. And again, the, the air cheese just keeps paying off, because unless you counter it hard, as long as the wasps just, like, live to the end, they're going to just mop everything up for you. It's so effective to have an air unit to do this with. Middle team, can I assume team up better? Well, not re Maybe. Not really. If the middle team was allowed to place on either side, I'd agree. Are all 2v2s like this? I don't know. I've never seen... I've, this is my first one I've played. They have more points. Oh, do they have more points? Interesting. It's very interesting that it's attack or defense. Or do you mean more health points? That's just their specialists, I think. Okay, so... Now I need to counter steel balls. <laughs> Which is so funny. Increase the attack of all units by 30%. Uh, that sounds pretty good. Um, so yeah, now I need to recognize I'm pulling steel balls to my side of the fight. Now I need to counter them. Um, air works, but I want to get like a harder counter. Um, I think just marksman's counter steel balls pretty good. Or just more fucking crawlers. I think I'm going to get the subterranean blitz. It's going to be really valuable. Beal keeps saying the word balls and I'm here for it. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. For air, just upgrading them is better than getting more of them. Yeah, I think you're right. And I don't really want to upgrade them because of the marksman thing. Oh, but I can get the energy shield? And then these wasps are so fucking much better against the marksman, it's insane. But I need to then do this to buy more units again. And I won't be able to spam three units of crawlers this turn. Which is too bad, so sad. I reckon like one unit of marksman... Each? I think I have enough crawlers. I think I have enough crawlers. Just get like a couple of marksmen. And then this way, the idea is that the marksmen will engage the steel balls when they come and hopefully fuck them. Probably should have done an upgrade here. So my guy just upgraded his crawlers to fight my crawlers, I guess. Well, I don't care if they die, man. Like, they're just there to distract the steel balls. Okay, as long as I kill his Mustangs, my wasps are going to have a great time. The energy shields are really ineffective against the Mustangs. I need to I need to screen them. That's a waste of the energy shield upgrade. That's totally useless. The, these are like upgraded Mustangs and they're going to fuck me. I think I might lose this time. Because of that. And my teammate is just like throwing, so... <laughs> my teammate is throwing so hard because they went three fucking hackers. That's why they're losing. I have to carry this match. And I'm not going to do it with like that. I need to get sledgehammers now, I think, to counter their Mustangs. Do I have Stormcrawlers? I can get my own Stormcrawlers too. No, I have Stormcrawlers. Oh, they, they beat us so bad, they're gonna beat us in like two matches now. Top Supply Specialist. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's good if you can get it. I could get Overlords too, right? No, because Mustangs. I need to kill the Mustangs. But, hang on a second. Hmm. I think Overlords can kill Mustangs pretty good. 
Akers look like a trap. They seem like it'd be cool. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Like, I, I think my opponent, I think my teammate's kind of a scrub. <laughs> those, those hackers are not doing shit. That's why they're losing. Okay, so what I say I was gonna get overlords, right? Yeah, yeah, overlords. I need to kill their mustangs to make this work. It's a bit of a gamble. I need to kill their mustangs. Can I put some storm crawlers to kill those? There they are. 788, and you hit for. You already should be killing them. What do I want? I want the upgrade that makes them take less damage from the Mustangs, please. I want the range advantage. And then what else do I want? If I put Mustangs here, do I just like fuck you? No, I can't afford Mustangs. Hang on. More Marksmen's. More Crawlers? Crawlers should beat the... I do need to screen the Mustangs, remember I said. But I'm worried this is gonna like get me fucked. I might have made... I might have done this wrong, we'll see. I need this... Yeah, okay, so screen... Yes, 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 yes! Okay, Crawlers screen of Subterranean Blitz, the Mustangs. While the Overlord works through the Mustangs. Overlord, please, kill... Overlord has some splash. Overlord's good against Mustangs. Overlord is not good against Marksmen, though. The Wasps are pretty good traders, though. As long as the marksmen don't kill my overlord there, which they just might, uh, I think I'm in trouble. Oh no, what 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 was that? Crawlers, I lose. The Mustangs still didn't die quick enough. I need more storm calls against them in the middle, probably. Oh, suddenly you won. I don't know what's happening over here, man. But good job. It's gonna be a pretty hard fight for you, but I'm doing my best here. So you've got to fight. It's like we started losing when I distracted this guy's steel balls. It's like this guy was hacking them, and I fucked this whole strat up. At least we're gonna, not gonna lose it too much here. But uh, I think more overlords in the middle wins. I know it didn't work, but I think if I just get more overlords in the middle to kill the Mustangs faster, I think I win. I need to kill the Mustangs before they wipe out all my wasps, and then the wasps kill the marksmen and tie them up because of the energy shield, and then I win the air game, and then I win. I feel like I'm kind of getting, like, tunneled down a certain path here, and I could probably counter this easier if I just stopped and thought for a second and breathed, but fuck it. We're committing the battleships now. At least it was a small loss. Okay. Orbital Javelin. Is that useful against them? Yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll net me at least one win. I could Orbital Javelin their Tungstens too, and I think it kills them. I just want more Overlords here, though, I think. Just... Get that. I think this should hit air, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I could help my teammate. They're not very clustered up there. Like, my guy's way more clustered up. I will fuck them up if I do this. Like, if I put that there. That's the range advantage ones, too. So if I put that there, it's a bit of a waste of damage. They're all pretty baby, but um, we'll do that. Get these. And then what else can I get? I can get no upgrades. I think I'm going to, like, do this again. I think I really just want to get the Mustangs. Kill them real good. Um... And then maybe just... I can buy one more unit. Maybe buy some more Stormcallers and Stormcaller their middle. What, can't they buy the... Oh, they don't have the anti-missile upgrade. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spam spawn, spawn callers. I haven't upgraded any units this match, but sp spam spawn scholars then. Because they didn't buy the fucking anti-missile upgrade, then fucking punish them for it. Fuck it. I mean, they didn't even bring it, is what I mean. It ain't even here. Let's see how this goes. Maybe this goes better. Uh, I take that sometimes, Logos. You take nothing for- Oh god, it's not gonna be in time. No, I got up. Nice. I just got their most upgraded Mustangs, which is good. I should win this, surely. Surely I'm gonna win this. I just gotta kill their Mustangs and I win. I win big. I'm not winning as much as I thought. 
Do I need even more crawlers? Uh, do I need like one big unit, like a like a fortress, maybe? I think I just need like one big unit, like a fortress. Okay, I think I win the air game hard here though. Once again, my teammate just fucking loses. <laughs> but hopefully I've got enough overlords to just fucking win. Yeah, no more crawlers. I, th I think this could be a great game to, for us to play more often, because one, I love it, and two, he's got no AA, he's always got the Overlord and a Wasp. No, he's always got an Overlord. And two, like, um... Like, it's it's nice quick matches. And, like, you guys get to be a part of it a lot, because I can talk about the strategy a lot. Let me see the re re replay from my teammates. Play. After this match, I'll show you what my teammates been doing all, all, all the time, if there's a fast forward. The only way I lose this is if... Oh, it's level two. I, I Maybe I do lose, actually. Because you're gonna be distracted killing the fucking artillery, and it's just gonna kill my battleships while you're distracted. Watch this. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No! Please get busy with my artillery. Yeah, 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 I might, I might. Get distracted with my artillery. Yeah, 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 I think I might win. Okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Got baited by my arties. <gasps> no, I still lose? I still lose! Level 2, baby, and it's got heals 4.5 max HP per second. Fuck. How? Because of target prioritization. And level 2. Level 2 is a big deal. Level 2 is double, and on big units, that's a lot. Level 2 is double health, double attack. But yeah, the health regen there was, was a good thing, too. Do I need steel balls? I don't think so. I just need, like... Well, I need this. What I'm doing here is not working. I need to just counter the crowds harder. Could I literally go Vulcans? I mean, the Marksman would fuck you a bit, unfortunately, with Vulcans. But otherwise, yes. I could, like, Vulcan my way into them. <sighs> Shit. What do I do? What do I do? Upgra oh, fucking yeah. Upgrade my Overlords for one. That'll fucking help. Maybe buy cheap crawlers and get the healing thing myself. Okay. Guys, I know we said no more crawlers, but... Actually, crawlers. <laughs> Guys, actually, crawlers. But you gotta hit from different sides so that you don't clump for the artillery. You gotta, like, encircle them with crawlers here. They have a lot of crawlers, too. Like, a Vulcan would not have been a terrible choice, but I couldn't resist upgrading all my units there, I think. If you're all gonna beat the crowd first, you're cool to take the marksman. Yeah. Um, I can get another upgrade. So yeah, get the get the healing thing. And then are there any more upgrades to do? Up marksmen are always good to upgrade. That's about it. No! He bought the nuke! They're going for the win this round! Oh my god, no, the humanity! He spent a lot of money on this. Ah! One of them's still alive. There's still a chance. If my teammate... If my teammate wins? Is my teammate winning? They're stupid hackers. The level 1 Mustangs can't really hurt me, but the, the Marksman sure can. Ah! The nuke. The nuke! My... Yes! It's my teammate's time to win! Oh my god, stop those crawlers though. Fuck! They got your control tower. At the worst possible time, that one hero crawler! No! No, you're just getting murdered now! As long as we don't lose this turn, as long as we don't have enough units left that we just lose. Heck no. Oh, he hacked an overlord? Fucking hackers, I still think they're dumb. Where he's never gonna lose to the marksman, but. I think if he'd lost his side again, or they'd lost their side, we would have lost the match right there from the amount of damage. I, we, we still may. I think we need the Vulcans in the front now. Like, or, or even fortresses. Even just fortresses um, with shields, just shield bubbles. I should just buy shield bubbles, actually. My my belief in Overlord. Oh, I forgot to put this on. Fuck. 
Okay, this, is, this really is the last round now. I got four turns that I can nuke again. Fortress Specialist right there. It's telling me what to do. Attack by 30%. HP by 30%. Movement speed by 3%. I want to go Vulcans, but I think I want this more. And I think my spaceship knows which way to go. Tell my wife I love her very much. She knows. I, I, I do want um, Vulcan Bounty, but I also really want the shields here, I think. I want to shield that, like, first clash where everything's just fucking dying, like, right here, I think. I don't know if that shields air units, it might. I'm just worried, Bounty, that the Vulcan gets killed by Marksman too easy. Did I ever get those more storm coolers? Did they help? I don't think I ever did. Now is the time, perhaps. For more storm coolers. No, I did, and they didn't help much. Okay. You'd think they'd help more. I gotta really pay attention to what's happening to my side of the battle. Can I, like, take out a really valuable unit here? Uh, yes. Not really. I'll put a missile here, and it'll kill, like, some crawlers. Oh, I can't put a missile on the flank. Of course you can't, you idiot. Here, just, like, put that there. This should take out, like, a... Oh, fuck! Okay. The fortresses are trying to tank, but they're getting marksmen really hard, which is a... We always knew would be a problem. However, I think they're buying a bit more time. Mr. Freeman, maybe? Those marksmen are just such an issue, though. Oh my god, is the hacker strat paying off? How is he hacking all those battleships? Or is he just spamming them? I need you to carry me, dude. Help me! Help me! You have to get their marksmen for me. I'm losing. I didn't lose as bad this time, kind of. Oh, I've got a Browser's Tower on him. Go! Go, man, go! Oh my god! Gandalf the Grey is back! Gandalf the White is here! The turnaround! What is going on? How is this happening? How do you go between completely losing and completely... <laughs> That's what he's asking about me, was what they're asking about me, like, oh man, you were doing so well at first, now you just suck. What have you got? Do you just, did you just buy Overlords? Oh my god, we win one more time, we win. He, oh my god, they're, they're just like... <laughs> okay, units in the Acid Blast lose 6% HP for this, 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 this. They, the, 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 the marksmen end up sitting like, here? I think we can win here. Crawlers? No, no, no. It, they're, they're just like hacking the Overlord? It, like it's working? I almost want to watch them more. Um, place the acid first. I thought it was a line. Let's place acid in the straight line. Oh! <laughs> no, buddy! That. Oh no, that's going to work actually. That's going to work great. Um, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do over here then meanwhile on his other side. Yeah, go for the big win here. Okay, now I gotta buy units. Um, I got double shot. Th those things just die right away. But get the get the armor enhancer for them. I don't know what to build more of in the end. Uh, do ass explosion? Hey, you're right. Hang on, time time is running out. Hang on. Crawler is go acidic explosion. Ah, uh, fuck. And just buy um another fortress. Two more units of crawler. <laughs> fucking more fucking crawlers. I don't know if I did this right or not, but um. <laughs> okay, here we go. What is actually happening over here? Oh my god. 
the shit that is going on? Get that nuke in there! We need that nuke! We need it! Yes! Yes! I have to watch what the fuck happened. How did that work? <laughs> oh my god, 2v2 is crazy! This game is so good, 1v1 is so sick and 2v2 is fun too. Can I just fast forward for this and see what happened? I saved my first ever win, it was against this degenerate. Oh my god! I don't want to sit through this whole thing if you can't fast forward, but if you can like fast forward through it, I just want to see what the fuck the hacker was doing. I just want to spend like five minutes here. My, my side was pretty crazy that whole time too. Like the air cheese was so good early, but then like, I think I just tried to, I just played wrong into whatever the fuck the Mustangs were. Um, because I, I never really truly countered what they were doing. I just kept doing the wrong things, I think. That was interesting. And they were just very marked and having had a really good, um, Really good thing for it. Can I skip rounds here? I don't want to sit here the whole time. Fast. Faster. No, I don't think I can skip rounds. I don't think I can do it, guys. Bob says, you, your partner was leveling in units that look like it, and you weren't. Yeah, I didn't want to level any of my units, because I didn't really feel like I got a lot of use out of, like, leveling the crawlers or anything. Who is this? Oh, that's, that's them. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to jump out of this, because I can't, like, skip rounds. If I could skip rounds, I'd be all about it. This would take too long. This is good if you actually want to like learn from the whole match, but I just wanted to see what this guy was doing. Anyway. What they were doing is winning the goddamn game, that's what. Held the ground out early. Yeah, it was it was interesting. It's really interesting the 2v2 nature of it, because then it, it is a 2v2 in a way, but it's like a me then you. Because Yeah, it's like, oh then you have the 2v1s, you just lose anyway. But no, because it depends how close the win is. Like if you win really close on your or lose really close on your side, then your opponent doesn't have enough units left, and then your other your 2v1 can come in and clean up. So it's like a delayed, delayed redemption. Man, that was wild though. That was sick. Anyway, so long stream to show you both of those games. Um Beyond Contact earlier today was fucking awesome. Definitely gonna play more of it. This game, Mechabellum, I fucking love it. Similar says, I wish Total War was like this. I didn't want to just do battles over and over. Yeah, and I think, like, Bounty says that player probably plays 2v2 just so they get the sandbag for the hacker strat. <laughs> when I saw those overlords coming the first time, like, the Riders of Rohan, that was insane. You win early game, probably won that game. I guess, yeah, yeah. I guess, gave the hacker time, which is interesting. Because I never see them in 1v1s either. That's crazy. I don't know how they got... It looked like my that the opponent over there, like, was just fucking stupid and literally put overloads on the front line like, please hack me. <laughs> it was crazy. But um, yeah, this, this game is really fucking awesome. And the fact that you're locked in the placements without special tech just makes it really strategic. It's really, really interesting. Everything you do matters. Everything's very meaningful. There's so many different units, so many different combinations of units, so many different um, like upgrades and tech trees and different things to spend your money on. You'll never have enough money to spend uh, on like you know, a quarter of everything you could have spent your money on in one round, you got to prioritize. And you got to do that cost effectiveness. And it's awesome. It's not about just buying the biggest, baddest unit. It's about buying the most effective unit. And I love that kind of balancing. It's it's so interesting. The Ketoffel says, thank you for all the insights and your strats. It's so interesting. Yeah, whenever I play this game, I'm always going to talk like that because... And that, that's why I think this could be a really great game for me to stream more often because it's, it's semi-turn-based. I can talk... Like XCOM, I can talk about to you guys... It's not like real time in that sense. I can talk to you guys about the tactics and commentate it as it's going in the battle. But then, you know, like it's like I was saying, it's short rounds and it's really interesting tactics for us to talk about. It's about lucking into the Giga, Giga Chat second player and strategy or something. Yeah. 
There's drama. Yeah, that was fucking... Yeah, the, the matches get really close in this. Um, it's cool as fuck. And I love that they give you such a nice testing grounds, because that's how I got good, is like learning counters like that, learning matchups, or got better. You know, I'm still only like... When am I? I'm three. I'm 3,501, I'm on the way up. But yeah, you're definitely going to see me play more of this, I think, because... Yeah. Logra says, maybe the hackers get rid of upgrades. Do you think the hackers get to level? Maybe they hack faster? I don't know. It's interesting. I think the shield over there were helping him a lot. Them. I keep saying him. Everyone clan rise up. Yeah, the regions. Um, how do you do the regions? Here we go. The regions are 501 division is mostly English. 401 is mostly Russian. 101 is uh, a bit of everything, actually. Mostly French, I guess. Um, 201 division is China. And 301 division is all Germany, basically. And we all match together. We just have different, like, talking to each other. So, in that one, it was... You know, I can't remember who it was. But, you know, you can see where people are from a lot as well, which is always fun. I like that. Really important to know if middle players get some com com conversation between flank versus cyclone. Yeah, that's interesting how that works. That's very... Huh, I could really fuck with that, that other person's strategy with the balls. Though it never seemed to help me, but um, I guess that's why I started having such a hard time too, because I literally was pulling two of the units off the other player into me. But maybe that helps Hacker Man eventually, I don't know. Hacker, Hacker Person, Hacker Envy. Anyway, it's been a long stream already, so I'm not going to sit here forever. But um, yeah, this ruled. Um, catch more of this soon, no doubt. I don't know what I'm playing tomorrow. Um, I know we yearn for more Battletech back, so I'm so fun. Um, but there's so many games I didn't play last weekend because I played four days of Battletech, so maybe we'll do some more Stalker Gamma, maybe some more of this, maybe s one more round, no, 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 I gotta go. Maybe some more Beyond Contact, um, Dr. Plasma, yeah, 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 some Dark Tide and use the new buff Plasma, you can finally vent it without doing damage to your health, and it kills Bulwarks, wanna do at least one round of that. So, you know, probably a hodgepodge of games this weekend. Go fight the clans of your Atlas, that too. And I'm sure we'll play some Bexcom as well. Anyway, uh, I'm going to thank myself and Dub to get out of here, but this game rules. Um, Mechabellum, it's free to check out right now. Please check it out. It's so fucking cool. And please check out Beyond Contact from earlier today. They actually sponsored me today, and their game is awesome. Their game is so well made. Both of these games are so cool. I'm so impressed by, uh, by both. So check out Beyond Contact and check out this. Both really fun games. And you're going to be seeing more of both, I imagine. So thank you to the subs and dubs. Do I the shit with jams? She likes Minion Masters, right? Says Cyclone. Yeah, though I don't know if like the, the gameplay is jams kind of style. The, like, very military sci-fi aesthetic, and also the, like, the the specific, like, not clunky, but the very, like, locked-in way to do it. But if she likes it, I'd love to play it with her, because I love this game. But I'm actually more excited to play Beyond Contact with Jam uh, when we get some time. I feel like that's going to be really fun together, I hope. Okay, so let me thank everyone. Sitchin gifted so many subs today. Sitchin gifted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 gift subs today. Thank you very much, Sitchin Zero, for gifting... How many did I say? 60? 60 gift subs. At least, is what we have on record here, folks. At least. Thank you so much for the 60 gift subs. That was so kind of you, and it really helps us out with the, the finances. Thank you so much. Like, it makes a huge difference, being that generous. Thank you so much. Um... That's why I give you the Italian text to speech donations, right? I'm really trying to try to encourage you. So thank you so much for sending in your money. I appreciate it a lot. Dr. Leper, 65 months sub, uh, Ivy Tom, 54 months sub, uh, Neeman 2476, a very generous 2 2 sub, 32 months. I have to since love, MGB love, ask love, MGB love. Thank you, Neeman. Very generous. Uh, Must Muscular, 34 months sub. Um, Britannia, 29 months sub. Thank you, Brit. Thank you, Kingdom Sword, for the gift sub to Alex Glitch. Very kind of you. Dr. Leper sent in 25 gift subs as well. Thank you, Dr. Leper, for sending in so many gift subs today. I'm sorry I didn't get to them before. Um, I, was try I was trying to like to be like more professional for the sponsor stream and focus on the game and not get distracted too much by looking at subs and dubs. So I didn't even see these. I'm sorry. You're so nice to me, Dr. Leper. Thank you for the 25 subs. Very kind of you. Very, very kind. Uh, Kingdom Sword also gifting five subs. Thank you for the five gift subs, Kingdom Sword. Incredibly kind of you as well. I hope you had a fun stream today, everyone. Atrophy 61 month sub. I meant to say Kingdom Sword, but I said everyone. All right. It makes Kingdom Sword less special, doesn't it? Kingdom Sword, I specifically hope you had a fun day today. Screw Joey, 33 months sub. Atropos, 61 months sub. Thank you guys very much. Guys, girls, and bees. Um, thank you, Sniff and Jay, for the 72 months sub. What is that person saying? 72 months sub. Oh, click my name to go straight to my game. 72 months sub. It's an auto message. Sniffin, 
sponsored rate is given on this blessed day. Sniffin, that is six years? Six years of Sniffin subbing? Thank you, Sniffin J, for the six years of subbing, my friend. Appreciate it a lot. Hey, if you get into this game, we can 2v2 it. Cyclone, if you ever want to play it 2v2 as well, I, I bet it'd be fun to 2v2 of each other this game. Thank you to Mogdash for the 86 month sub. Real McDyson, rate of a party of one. Mogdash gifted the sub to Balls. Thank you, Mogdash. I know Mogdash really liked me talking about the Steel Balls the whole time. Steel Ball is a really good unit. I didn't use any today because my opponents never really went that giant heavy, except for when I bought, built a melting pot and fucking lost. Steel Balls probably would have done better. But Steel Balls are good. I like Steel Balls. You didn't even see the coolest upgrade where they link their health. It's so awesome. Um, but yeah, thank you for the 86 month sub and the gift sub of three months. Thank you, Real McDyson, for the rate of a party of one. Thank you for rating. And Cooper McGovern, thank you for the 53 month sub. Thank you all so very much. Real McDyson says, this was my first ever raid. I actually wanted to figure out how to do it. Well, I'm glad that I was your first. Thank you. I hope King of Sword has a day of tomorrow too. <laughs> it might be extreme, but I hope King of Sword has a day tomorrow too. You hope King of Sword like, has a day at all? <laughs> um, who am I... Who am I... Uh, who am I gonna... Blah, blah, blah. Who am I gonna raid? What a fun day. Both of these games are so fun. I feel so lucky. Um, Mommy's playing Stalker Anomaly, so let's go see Mommy. Maybe, they, they say one day maybe Beagle will give you some Stalker Gamma again, Stalker Anomaly soon too. But for now, GG, I hope you all had as much fun today as I did, because I had a lot of fun. Thank you, Mogash, for the gifts of the real McDyson, that's nice of you, thank you so much. Very, very kind, very, very nice, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. Hope you all have a good one, hope you all had a fun time. Um... Thank you for having a very generous uh, stream with me as well. Thank you for giving me so much. I mean, today been a lot of gifts, so thank you so much. And I'll see you tomorrow for more video games. Bye, everyone. Mechabellum and Beyond Contact. Check them both out. Exclamation mark sponsor in chat. Check out Beyond Contact on Steam. Check out Mechabellum on Steam. That's it. I love this game. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good one.